Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday and boy oh boy do I have stuff everywhere. Uh, I am going to do a whole day of jelly print play and thought I would bring you along with me. So uh, let's say hi and hugs first to Susan, Diane, Caroline, and Joan. Thank you so much for watching um, and for your kind comments. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just tell you what I have out to play with. First of all, um, I think there's a lot of new people and it might be worth kind of going over things again. So um, I have a couple of jelly plates here. There's different brands, just FYI. There are different brands. I, I like them both the same. I just have different sizes. So this one's 12 by 12. This one's nine by 12. I also have a, what is this one? I don't know. It's like a, almost like eight by 10 or something. This was the first one that I got. And um, if, if you haven't gotten one and you want to, I would suggest the 12 by 12 because you can still do an eight and a half by 11 paper or um, that sort of thing on this, but you know, but it gives you the option of doing 12 by 12 paper too. So, don't you open it up. I am going to, uh, excuse me, <laughs> do a little disclaimer, which is that I am not a jelly plate expert. For me, it's all about it's all about play with the jelly plate and I don't want it to be anything more than that for me. <laughs> so, um, so I just, I just play and bring you guys along. That's all. And, um, there are, there are tons of videos out there for jelly plate experts, um, with this and that. But like I say, I, I just play and bring you along. So what I'm going to do, the reason I have extras out is um, I'm going to kind of mainly do on this one, but I want to have this one out as well because this one or the other one, I don't know. I'll just use this one since it's handy. Um, because there's some times that you want the layers to dry and I'll get into that in a minute. And then if I've got the two going, I can be working on one while the other one's drying is, is my thought. So that's, but uh, what I'm gonna do guys is I am going to film three videos today while I'm jelly printing. And, um, that way I'll have, I mean, I'll have three weeks worth of mixed media Mondays. I'm going to grab this, um, glass mat and I'm going to put this one on it. And that way I can go in and out of the camera with it. I think that's my thought anyway. We'll see how this works out again. We're just, just going to play here. Okay, so we have that other smaller one if we want it, but um, I don't know if we're going to need, excuse me, I'm just putting away these little filmy things. You need to put them back on your plate so it doesn't dry out, and so I was just getting those put away. Okay, so this one I'm going to take and put over here course it's going to stick to the bottom one so we can play with those okay what else do I have here I have a variety of papers to work on these are you can't really see but they are labels and I'm going to use those as my clean off sheets so those are going to kind of go to the side here gosh guys I have so much stuff here to I can't I can't manage Okay, so um, then also let's get all of these and I'll show you. So I grabbed some embossed papers because I thought those might be fun to play with. 
I have some deli paper that is printed on already. Might be kind of fun to see how that would turn out. Um, I have, this is real thin craft paper. Don't know, we'll see. Then I have a couple pieces of parchment paper. Thought that might be kind of fun too. Uh, regular deli paper here. Then I have a craft colored deli paper. And deli paper is the stuff that um, they use to wrap your sandwich in. So it's very thin. I have cardstock. 12 by 12s here, and I have made covers out of these that I have absolutely loved, journal covers. So I think I might play with that a bit. I've got regular old copy paper, and then this is some cream colored cardstock. So those are the papers that I grabbed, and um, I'm just gonna set them up in this corner for the moment. Uh, of course, uh, as far as other papers, let's see. I've got a couple here that I wanted to use. This is a scrapbook paper that I'm never going to use that. This side I like, but I'm never going to use that side. So I thought I might jelly print that. This was a little project I did a long time ago um, where I put washi tape and then jelly printed and then you remove the washi tape and the color is underneath that was one i had left over so we'll do that um as well i have a variety of tags here um some of them are blank and then um some of them have stuff on them already that you know like for instance this one that one needs more needs more happening I pretty much use the tags to do kind of mop up or if like I do an eight and a half by 11, then I'll put a couple tags up here to pull up the paint. Um, I'm gonna grab, I've got some just plain manila tags too. Let's, let's have those at the ready as well. Okay. So then I also have all my stencils and I wanted to show you this because I thought it might be helpful to somebody. Um, this is just a three ring notebook. Make sure I don't wax the camera. And I have my, um, I have my stencils all kind of organized in here. Like there's floral, there's uh, numbers and text, and they're just in page protectors. So, you know, you can just slip them down in. So, and then I have a swirls category. That's the swirls category because they're swirls. <laughs> and then I have a miscellaneous, a big miscellaneous because, um, yeah, there's feathers and there's all sorts of things in here. But yeah, so that's kind of the, the smaller ones, if you will. I also brought over um, my, let me show you, my Kathy Holden stencils, which I use all the time, use them all the time. Now you will see that my stencils are painty. I mean, the, the, you know, the common instruction or whatever is once you've used a stencil and it's in the paint put it in a tub of water I don't do it I just don't do it I mean these work fine for me and I just I feel like the layers of paint make the stencil stronger so you know you do you though okay then so that's all the stencils which I am going to kind of set aside a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then I have this little, this little thing that has, has my jelly prints in it. So I have this, this section, which is my needs more section. So these are ones that have started, but they need more. I have, uh, some that I want to doodle on, like I want to do white, 
pin on that. That needs some doodling. I want to go around those hearts. You know, doodles. I have doodles. Then I also have finished ones that I feel like are kind of ready to go. So, yeah, so that's that's kind of how I organize my prints. Um, I also have a big tub of, of them over in my papers that I use for collage. What else do I have in here? I have some envelopes and things. This little this little folder was um, was a jelly printing class that I did. Yeah, again, I'm not an expert, but I did do an adult ed class on um, on them and uh, or on jelly printing. Yeah, and it was fun. It was fun. Here's the ones that are doodle on and some of my favorites. I love, love, love that one. I had some red paint that was kind of dry and um, it kind of clumped up on the plate and it just made the coolest papers. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Um, so there you have that. We're going to keep the needs more out the rest can go to the side because oh, oh, oh. as you can see there's um there's some tags and whatnot in here that maybe maybe they'll need they need more so i'm going to take this off and we'll we'll set these just kind of over here and grab as necessary okay so these are my, these are my little, um, uh, 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 those are my labels that are going to get, I'm just going to set them here because I can roll off on that. I did want to show you a couple others. I, I have this little one. This one is a, what is it? Looks like five by seven. This little tiny guy is three by five. And then I also have a round one. I haven't I haven't used the round one much, I will say. But yeah. So okay. So I kind of wanted to start with the layering. And again, I'm I'm gonna say it a million times probably, but I'm not an expert, you guys. So don't please please just know that and don't tell me all the things I'm doing wrong because it's play. There is no wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take our our other little plate here because this is going to be the one that I'm going to set aside to dry um, in between things. So layering, I find there's two ways to do it. And um, one of which is... Uh, to put a, a layer on, let it dry completely, put on another layer, let it dry completely, and then put on another layer of paint and do, do your pull. That's one way. So in that way, you're going to want like the, the pattern that you want up front, you know, the one that you want to show the most. You're going to put down first and then the other and then a background. Now, the other way to do it is to um, is to roll your paint on, not wait for it to dry, pull it off. And that's going to be your background. Then set it aside to draw air dry and then put on whatever you want as a second layer and the third layer. And then in that in that way of doing it without letting it dry in between, you're going to end up with um, whatever you want as kind of your focal point as your last layer. So it's just the opposite, basically. So let's do one here that we can let dry whilst we're, whilst we're doing things. Um, just going to find a stencil that I want to use. Where's my favorite? There it is. You can tell it's my favorite. It's, it's really... So Kathy Holden, um, 
She used to sell, as far as I knew, through iStencils.com. So as far as I know, that's where she she where you can find her um, her stencils. So I'm just gonna kind of center that. I'm gonna put that there, and we're gonna we're gonna put the first layer on. Okay. So I don't know what color would we like. Let's let's use whatever. I I have a lot of my um of my paints that really they're kind of past their they're good but I like to use them for jelly printing because what else are you going to use them for so I am going to pull this one out I have over here this might be helpful for you to see too I'll just show you I have this glass plate and I put it on shelf liner with double stick tape and I have this over to the side and that's what I put the little guy on and to be able to use it as more or less as a palette because I, um, I tend to put too much, uh, too much paint. If I go straight on here, I'll probably, there probably too much. Oops. And so, um, so I'll just use I'll just use my little palette over here and well I don't know we'll see we'll see how this goes I just kind of what I wanted you to know is is the the order of layering okay this is a thin paint so it's not I mean it's kind of translucent which is fine We'll see how it we'll see how it does on here. I'm just gonna try and get into all of those all of those um, images on the stencil as much as possible. I might should have used a little bit darker one on this, but you know what? It's all experimenting. It's all just playing around and seeing what you get. Most of the time, my very favorite prints are a surprise. You know, like I <laughs> didn't expect it to turn out that way, and it did. And so it's so exciting. Yeah. So, okay. So there we go there, right? Okay. And I'm going to, well, you can't see me, but I'm going to just... I'm just going to roll off my brayer like so on the labels. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull that stencil gently like that. Okay. So that's going to be the first layer on that pull. Now, um, okay. Gosh. I have not, <laughs> even though I have a six foot table, I still don't have room. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry, right? Okay, meanwhile, I'm just gonna put that down there and there's a bunch of paint on there. So I am just gonna grab one of these pieces of deli print and it's gonna be a little bit of a wipe off for me. I'm just gonna press that down and pull up whatever extra paint I can. And it just sort of starts, it starts something. And that should dry pretty quickly, but now, now my, now my page is not as painty. So, okay. So I'm gonna set the stencil aside to dry. You can put it in water if you want to. Okay, let's do this one the other way. So I am going to, and, and this is the way I usually do it, I have to say, and it's because I'm filming and it's hard to, you know, wait for something to dry when you're filming, right? Okay, so, well, let's just use this color again, just for the heck of it. Okay. 
And so I'm just going to smooth that on all over this. There's paint goobers in it. It's like old, old paint, but you know, waste not, want not. It's going to be kind of a light background, but I like it. Okay. I think I want like a, a white deli just to be able to illustrate for you. Okay, Ugh, can't get it apart, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that down while it's wet. And we're going to pull the print. So I'm thinking on my other couple of videos, I might link this video because it kind of starts with all the supplies you might need and everything. So it might be a good thing to do that. Okay. Okay, so there is, there's our background, right? Okay. Then let's do, now we could, we could wipe off any excess. I usually don't. But I just use baby wipes on my jelly plate. I don't know if that's right, wrong, or whatever. But that's what I do. Okay. Alrighty, so let's use another stencil. Um, oh, something fun, like, like this. This one's fun. Yeah, let's do that. And what color would even go with that? I don't know. That's a kind of a weird color of purple, but I have have some blue here. Now I'm going straight on the plate with this because it it doesn't matter. That might be too liquidy. I don't know if it's gonna go underneath the stencil or not, but we'll see. Ooh, it smells funny too. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of just leaving droplets. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. We shall see. It's just fun, guys. I you know it's the reason I do three videos is it's a lot of work to pull everything out and clean it all up afterwards, but I don't know. It's really, it's kind of worth it, I think. Okay, so let's pull that up. Ooh, it just left kind of splotchies. We don't know. It's fine. That's okay. So you can see why I do it this way for, um, for filming because it's just, it's quick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful, right? <laughs> okay, let's clean up the plate with this one that we had before. So generally, I use a darker color as the last, kind of last layer, so that's probably what we'll do. Okay, well that cleaned off pretty well. And now we've just got, often my clean out, my cleanups are my favorite. So there is that. Um, hmm. What about this one? I haven't, haven't used this one very much. Let's do this one and let's, do I have a black? Let's see if I do somewhere. Well, I thought, looks like I have one here. Nope, that's purple. That's a dark purple. Well, that's okay. Let's use a dark purple. What the heck? So, yeah, these are some other little old paints. I got these on sale at 
Joanne's one time, was on my way to the retreat and we stopped at uh, Joanne's in beautiful Butte, Montana. And um, they had this set of these Liquitex paints and there was bunches of colors and it was like $24 or something. So I bought it, but that's been like years ago, years and years ago. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set that on there. And I'm gonna lay this down to pull up the stencil, just the parts of the stencil that show. Now our other one is dry, I'm sure. So we're gonna we're gonna put another layer on the other one now after this. So there we go all layered up with it, three layers. You can of course do more than that if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna lay that aside to dry. And let's see, let's do this. I'm gonna, gonna lay this down. And then, Okay, I'm going to put on top of it, I'm just going to put this piece and I'm going to lay this stencil down and just press real good on that and get some of the paint off the stencil. Okay, it's just very light, but, and this blue one still has stuff on it too. Actually, it's got stuff on this side, too. So, let's grab just a piece of copy paper. It looks like it's mostly right there. And you can see it just adds and adds. And then pretty soon you've got a whole bunch of prints. And it's fun. So, anyways... I'm going to take this one off. Ooh, that's cool. Let that dry a little bit more. Okay, there's a wipe off. And then this is going to be kind of the clean off. Ooh, that's pretty too. I love that. And that was a wipe off. So there you go. Alrighty then. Um, okay, so back to this one here. Uh, so we have a real light purple and that is dry now. Let's use, um, I'm going to do a yellow, but I'm, or maybe a real light green. Um, yeah, I want a leaf stencil. I know I've got some. Just gotta find them. Actually, I have a mask. This is, let's see, it's from Prima. It's just called Mask. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that on there. You know what I kind of want is, okay. We're going to do this differently. I'm going to put this on this one and I'm going to put roll some green onto it. And then I'm going to put it paint side down on that other one and pull the paint off. Because I want, I want the leaves to be the green. Okay, we've got, we've got this. I don't know what, how good it's going to be or whatever. Okay, let's make sure, I think my brayer is pretty dry, but I'm gonna wipe it off just in case. I don't want the purple and the green to be mixing, so just give it a quick wipe. 
You guys might have to holler at me when time's up because I just get going and I just have so much fun. Okay. I think, actually, I'm throwing that away. I'm going to wipe off my little palette plate and use it so that I don't get too much. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I would have gotten too much. Okay. This one's rather translucent as well. Okay, I'm not going to move the other plate over, but what I'm going to do is just pick up this mask and lay it down on that plate and hope that the leaves kind of, I'll pick up the plate and show you after I do it. I hope the filming's okay of this. It's, it's a little different over here in my mixed media table it, the way the camera is set up but hopefully it's doing okay okay so this is going to be a bit messy but you know you have to you have to get into it don't you okay so i'm just gonna hopefully pick this up <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna work but we're gonna try it Come up, little guy. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to lay it down, paint side down on that other plate. Like so. Okay. Did that. Now I'm going to take my rub off and I'm going to lay it on it and rub over those leaves. Hopefully leaving leaf patterns on my plate. We'll see. Okay. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It worked. It worked. I'll show you. Um, let's see what to do with this. Okay. All right. So, Just bring it over. See, so now there's real light leaves in the background too. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. Meanwhile, meanwhile, let's, let's use this and pick up all this paint. And the next thing we're going to do is I think I want, I really want to, um, uh, I really want to do some dark or, you know, 12 by 12 craft paper because I, I really liked the journal covers it made. You could make the nine by 12 journal cover and have this lovely strip left for a pocket on the inside. So that worked out really well. Okay, let's see how this, ooh, ooh. That's pretty cool. I like that. A person could doodle around those leaves. I think I'm going to call that ready to be doodled. Okay. All right. So, or you could color them in. There's possibilities on that one. Okay. Let me get a piece of the card stock. And then we'll kind of decide what we're going to do. Um, So I think I want like black. I think I'm gonna use this one. 
Okay, so that's going to be the top. So I need the background. Then I need the next step. Okay, so I think for background, I would like a nice, well, that's kind of blue, isn't it? Island blue. Um, I want turquoise. I want turquoise. The old other ones I did, the other um, journal covers were fall, and they I really, I really, really liked them. They were cool. So, oop, got a got a paint goober. I think. Okay, hopefully that's good. That one's about. That one's about out too. I'm gonna have to do a little acrylic paint shop one of these days. Okay, so I'm just covering this whole thing and then we'll do the second layer and then we'll do kind of the first layer. Just smoothing it out so that it kind of looks like it has bookworm holes in it <laughs> which is okay with me I like that okay so the background There is such thing, it's called a barren. This is one. And you can use that, kind of helps save your hands a little. I, I am just so used to not that I just, I just end up doing this. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it ended up with it ended up that it pulled out some of the purple too. Well, that's okay. That's okay. All right, I want, I want this one and I want to do pink. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We shall see though. Okay. This is a newer pink, but I still think I'm gonna use my little palette over here. Oh, there's still a little turquoise happening, but I think it's gonna be okay. Hopefully, I'm trying to think of what color to go behind those two. I, mean, I wonder if I have a new tube of yellow or bottle of yellow. That might be nice on that. Be springy. Okay. up okay and while that's wet we're gonna lay that down pick that up and I usually cover the inside with another piece of the um, another piece of the craft 12 by 12. So I don't mind if I get a little paint on the back doing this. Just gonna pick up that extra paint on the stencil. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. All right. Hopefully we, we got those pink flowers. Ooh, yeah, we did. We got them. Okay, so there's that. Now, I am gonna put, I'm gonna put black. Where did I have that black? There it is. I'm gonna put black down first and then lay the stencil on it because I, I just want the, um, the stencil. I don't want a whole bunch. Just, just a little bit. You know, it might be kind of pretty on that, on that other plate. It might be a brown or something. This is getting kind of cool too. Okay, so now I'm gonna just lay this on and we're gonna lay this on and see what we get. And you know, if you do a print that you don't like, well, first of all, it's just a piece of paper, but if you don't like it, you can always tear it up for collage and or you, you can always put more layers on it. Wow, that did not go through. Okay. It's cause it's, the things are tiny. Okay, let me just really ream on it here. See if I get it. I do like it though, but oh, that's that's doing better this time. Oh, it's too gentle. Okay, let's see. Ooh. That's kind of fun, isn't it? I like it. All right. Let's see. So now, I need to take this off, like so, and we're just gonna make ourselves a dark layer. I'm gonna use the cardstock again. And just try and pull up all that black. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that there. Put this over it. And take some of the paint off of there. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the last layer on our one that's been drying. I don't know if that's the last thing. I'll have to check the time, but ooh, that turned out cool. Yeah, I think a couple more layers and that's gonna be, gonna be good to go. Let's see, how do we do here? I didn't really get it on the, on the plate straight, but you know. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Then we can, Put some more layers on that one. Okay. So let's see. I want to kind of wipe this off. And we will. I'm just going to try. I think I'm going to try some brown on that. 
We'll see how we do. Well, first of all, I should decide what paper to use. I think I'll just use um, copy paper on this because I just, I want you to see the layers well. Oh, let's use, um, let's use this cardstock. I was thinking it could be cut into tags is what I was thinking with it. So let's see here. Let's, let's find a brown first. Okay, and if I'm just going to bring this over, because, yep, those leaves are dry. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this on, and um, I'm going to put it straight on because you want to have, you know, a decent amount of paint and the other's dry so it shouldn't do anything to the other I don't know I don't know if brown was the right choice but we'll see <laughs> at least it illustrates the other way to get your layers again it's it's one of those things that Definitely you can do it when you're just at home, but it's hard to do on a video because, you know, you're trying to, you know, keep things moving in a video. Okay, so theoretically, now I know some people will leave this on here to dry. I have not done that. Should we try it? Let's try it. Okay, let's see what time it is. Oh, we're good. We got a few minutes. I think we have enough to let that dry. I'm just going to let that dry on there and we'll see if we can get it off. <laughs> we'll see. May have been a mistake. Okay, so let's do something with something else with this. You know what I'm thinking might be kind of cool with that is like I've got this metallic that would be cool. What do we want as far as a stencil go? Maybe this one will just be some like geometric patterns. Okay, we're gonna put gold on there. Get rid of our brown. Let's see. I'm trying to keep my paints that are good and my paints that are not. I'm trying to keep them sort of separate. Okay. Ooh, that is, that is pretty. I think that might have come in one of my kits from Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota. I think so. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down on here. Like that. I'm going to lay this down. And rub it. In a way, I think this will be kind of a nice neutral cover, you know, just black and gold. And let me just peek and make sure I'm pulling it up. Yep. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. That's only got two layers, but. I like it, so I'm just gonna leave that. Hmm, that's cool. Okay, now let's just pull this off. Put our pickup paper right here. Whoops, right here. 
and put this one here as well. Try and get some paint off it this way. I hope I'm not jiggling the camera too much. That's the other kind of rough thing about this setup, but you know, it's, it's all I can do. It's the best I can do on this table. I don't have anything beside it. Well, my other arm is on my Hoosier and then goes over my table, but I don't have anything to do that on. Okay, well that dried up real quick. Okay, let's see how this comes out with that pretty metallic. Oh yeah, it's pulling some of it up. Yeah, that's getting kind of cool. Okay, I feel like we need like maybe kind of a cream color. I'm gonna go with my favorite. It's this Americana buttermilk. I love this color. Let's do a cover again. And then I think this will be I'll I'll pull the pull the other one and then I think we'll call it good for today. Is that not open? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um we'll call it good for today and then I'll be back next Monday cuz I'm going to eat my lunch. Then I'm going to come back and do some more. Maybe we'll work on some of the finish it up prints or something. I Today I just really wanted to show you the supplies and I wanted to show you the, the sort of two different techniques or methods or whatever of, of layering your jelly prints. I think this might be kind of cool. I'm excited. <laughs> Just gonna go right on there. Yeah, I want it over a little bit. Okay, we'll see how we do. I'm getting a little messy on that side, but that's okay because, like I say, I'm just gonna back it with uh, another piece of this craft card stock. I want to make sure it gets that gold. Okay. Oh yeah, cleaning it right off. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. That is just cool. You know, very neutral, but very cool. Fun. Okay. Okay. So, we got to get this one figured out, don't we? Let's see if we did okay leaving that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Start a corner. Oh, yeah, it's going to come off, which is good. <gasps> Holy moly. I did not expect this to turn out this cool. This is cool. Look at that. So see, you can see the pink. The pink pops up to the top. The leaves are behind. And then the background. Yes. Okay, so I'll show you real quick the ones that we finished today. Okay. Just did this one, of course. And um, I like how it has a little bit of black through it. Boy, that turned out great. And then there's this one. And this one that also is going to be a cover. So those are all the craft 12 by 12s. And then this one, I, I actually feel like that needs a bit more. I don't know what, but I might put it in the needs more. Um, and then this one, I love, love, love this one. And this one. 
so yeah so we actually finished five big prints we we have a couple of you know rub offs we have our our labels that we were just you know rubbing our our um brayer off on and then this which is on cardstock i think what i'll do is probably cut that into tags i don't know i don't know if i'm going to be able to it's just so anyway we will do some more next Monday. And um, meanwhile, I'm going to go have some lunch. So I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.